everybody. Welcome to the Chuck Wagon, starring your host and chef, Jen. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to make a blueberry strawberry cobbler on the open fire. So I'm, I'm just kind of getting into this cooking style and I love it. Um, if you're camping and you don't have like this kind of a setup and you want to do it anyways, you can mix your dry ingredients before you leave the house and then we'll finish everything up outside. I'll show you. Anyway, so I have a cup of flour, um, unbleached flour is best. So I have unbleached uh, wheat flour and a cup of sugar. Actually, I have like a heavy cup of flour and a cup of sugar. Um, cinnamon, about a half a teaspoon, something like that. So I'm just going to kind of guess, but if you need to measure it, a uh, half a teaspoon, I would say is probably about enough. So that's about right. And a little bit of salt. You can use any kind of salt. This is the salt that I had on hand. So just like a pinch, that's good enough. Okay, so we're going to mix all this together. Probably use a whisk if you want, but this is what I grabbed. So, okay. All right, well, that looks pretty well mixed. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to do something with that in a minute. All right. So now you can mix your wet ingredients. Um, I have two pans, two skillets. So, but if you only have one, you want to melt your stick of butter in your skillet and then pour it on your dry ingredients and mix it up. Since I have two pans, I'm just going to go ahead and do everything at once. And then I just threw an extra pat of butter in my other skillet because this is where the berries are going to go. All right, let's mix the wet ingredients. I have um, blueberries. There's probably about, oh, I'd say maybe a cup to a cup and a half. If they were, if they were sliced, it'd be about a cup. And then some uh, blueberries, Maine blueberries. They are, they are locally grown. So there's that. I like a little bit of lemon. Oops, let me pull that one out. Okay. All right, yeah, a little bit of lemon. I'm gonna squeeze about a half a lemon on here just for some zest. A little citrus always tastes good with this. And um, a splash of brandy. Do just a little bit of brandy in here. I say maybe about two ounces, something like that. So I'm just guessing. Stir this up. Throw in some vanilla. I do maybe about, I don't know, a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. You, you, you get a pick on that, so. Mix that up, vanilla makes everything better. Okay, so we have blueberries, strawberries, brandy, vanilla, in, and a half a lemon in here. And then these are the dry ingredients. So, see how easy it is? Um, we are going to go outside and finish up. So I'll see you out there. Okay, I have a stick of butter in here. So I'm gonna stick that on there. I want it to melt pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it so it melts quick. See the um, coals here? We've been burning this fire for probably about a half hour, 45 minutes. You want just the white coals. You don't want flame. There's a little bit of flame, but that's not gonna hurt anything, so. This should um, warm up pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and in my bigger skillet, I'm going to melt another uh, maybe tablespoon of butter in this one. I'm going to set that right on there. And hopefully that melts rather quickly. I mean, once this gets hot, this butter is going to go. So I think we're good. to melt already. Mm. 
Make sure you have um, your a mitt or something to grab these pans too because this is very, very hot. Alrighty, everything is looking good. Butter's melting nice. I mean, if you don't have two pans, then just melt the butter in the pan you're going to make it in. If you don't want a dirty two pans. Um, I just want to do it this way because I want this pan to be nice and hot when I put the berries in it. Some butter over the edge there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dump my blueberries and my blueberries and my strawberries in here. Once, once I get everything mixed, I'm going to move it all over to the center there. But right now, this is good enough. Okay. So here's our berries and our bourbon, vanilla, lemon juice. Bourbon? Uh, brandy, sorry. <laughs> I was going to use bourbon and then I saw brandy, so I wanted, I decided to use that. All right. So you want to put, you want to make sure your berries, everything's like all even, like in a, that one's kind of big, but that'll be fine. it out a little bit there we go like that okay and let's see how the butter is doing butter looks good all right so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and dump it in my dry mixture So this is a stick of butter, melted butter, going into the dry mixture. Mix this up. And you don't have to worry about over mixing this. You want it, you, you do want it kind of all mixed together pretty good. It's going to be kind of a little, almost like when you, um, if you're making a pie pastry, it's almost like that before you add the water. If you want to put oats in here, you can. I would just throw maybe a half a cup in here. But I'm just going to adjust this. All right. Get over here. I'm going to move my pan over to the top of these coals. And just kind of sprinkle everything over the top like this. Those berries are already getting nice and plump. All right. And then if you don't have a lid, like I don't, put foil over it. Come back and check this in about, I'd say about a half hour, 
definitely want to check your coals though to make sure that they're still gray um, if you need to get in there and stir things up go ahead and do that but let's check back in a half hour and see how it turns out one all right it's been about 35 minutes since we did this so um i just came out every once in a while and kind of shook things up a little bit underneath and blew on it to make sure it was still nice and hot uh this little foil packet here is i mean i took a picture of it but um that's just leftovers i had i had a leftover pork chop and some leftover pork loin that i kind of cut up and um I put that in some barbecue sauce, uh, chopped red onion, sliced garlic, and uh, pepperoncinis. So pickled pepperoncinis. So those are sitting in there, uh, getting toasted up and ready for uh, sandwiches for dinner tonight. But let's see how this is going to be. Oh, oh, that looks good. It's a little juicy, but that's okay. That looks, that actually looks really, really good. So the only thing I might do is sprinkle on a little bit of um, oatmeal just to absorb some of the juices and that'll be good. So I think we are going to, I'm just going to do that and we'll be ready to rock and roll. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so obviously cooking on an open flame is never perfect for anybody and it's not gonna be perfect for me. I do have, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have a little bit of extra juice on the top here. Um, I was thinking of putting oats on it, but I don't know how good the oats are gonna turn out. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of pancake batter on the top and then let it cook for maybe another 10 minutes. So we'll just do that to absorb some of the liquid. And I, I just did like a tablespoon. I think a tablespoon will be enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it back up. And then come back out and check on it in a few minutes. So. I think we're good. I think that'll be good. I think it'll turn out perfect. So, because pancakes only take like 10 minutes. So just that little bit of layer on top, I think will be good. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. Okay. So I put the pancake batter on top of it, probably be about 15 minutes ago because it was just a little juicier than I expected it to be. Um, let's have a look. And that looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. I can smell the berries. I can smell the vanilla. I can smell the brandy. It smells fabulous. Hey, excuse me. So what I'm going to do is the dogs are like taking over. I'm going to pull this off and let it sit. And all those juices are going to kind of overlap everything and just settle and chuck will be having himself some cobbler tonight because i am extremely allergic to blueberries and, and strawberries <laughs> so anyways let me pull this off got my glove oh my gosh this is heavy I'll pull this off that's gonna sit it'll thicken i'm gonna cover it to keep the bugs out Let's see how this little, I mean, this is off the beaten path, but let's see how this turned out. This was just some um, leftover pork that I had that I went ahead and threw some stuff on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That That is some sandwich ready material right there. So, that's awesome. I am gonna toss that right back on the coals though. Just a few more, few more minutes, let it get nice and toasty. 
<laughs> no, ah, oh, okay. That's not hot? Yeah. Alrighty. Right there. Okay. There's dinner. So anyways, once that settles, we will just take a picture of it and post it and Chuck will be enjoying it. I'm positive. We don't have ice cream. It says to serve it with ice cream, but my freezer is packed with food. So there's no room for ice cream in there. Um, Greek yogurt, whatever. Blech. That doesn't even sound good. Ugh. All right. Anyways, <laughs> over and out. Hi, Sam. Oh. <laughs>